Hello everyone, Hyper here, and welcome to my updated UI and add-on video. I decided to make an updated spreadsheet that has little preview images as well as instructions and download links for all of the add-ons that I use. So if you want to use my UI or you just saw a specific add-on on my stream or on YouTube and you wanted to download it, this should help you out with that. Now the first thing you will want to do is go to the description box and click that link. Uh, which will take you to my spreadsheet or you can just type in uh, tinyurl.com slash Hyperion UI and it will also take you to the spreadsheet that I have all of my add-ons in. As you can see I have a download link here for all of the add-ons as well as specific instructions on how to configure them once you have them downloaded. Uh, these are most of my add-ons, if any of them are missing I will add them later. Uh, this is still kind of a, a project in process. Um, the most important tab here though is the WeCourse instruction. You need to follow this step by step, uh, don't skip anything because you will just end up with WeCourse that are either just a green box or they're not circular or who knows what other problems you could have with them. Uh, because I am using custom borders, uh, since you can see that I have circular WeCourse, it is very important that you download the TGA file from my Dropbox and place it in a hyper folder within your add-ons. And I have the step-by-step -step rundown here of how you do this exactly. And once you did this for one of my WeCora sets, you will be able to import all of them without having to do this again. So I definitely recommend doing this as your first step if you plan on getting any of my WeCoras. After you have that, make sure you, you completely restart your game, not just reload, otherwise um, the files will not load properly. But once you did that, you can import basically all of my WeCoras, and I will just run you down here all of my add-ons that I use. First of all is LFUI, which you can see my action bars here, um, as well as rate frames. It's just the basic UI. If you're using LFUI, make sure to go to slash EC once you have it imported. Um, and if you plan on using Plater, then you need to go to nameplates and disable this section here. Otherwise, it will interfere with nameplates and you will just get a bunch of errors. Um, with WeCoras, if you're using mask um, or add-on skins, make sure you also disable those for the specific WeCoras. I think you can like blacklist it or whatever. Um, otherwise, they will stay square instead of become rounded. Um, the other add-ons I use here is Plater nameplates um, for for this, you need to actually just open the album that I have linked on the spreadsheet and look at the settings and just copy them in the game. Again, I have instructions on how to do that there because you can't just um, export then import profiles like you do for most add-ons. Big wigs, little wigs, this is fairly easy to configure. You just type in slash BW in game, click toggle anchors and then I have a screenshot there uh, on the spreadsheet. It has all of my anchor positioning and you, you just move them to the same spots if you're planning on using the same UI as I am. Moving on, uh, we have details. So I started using details instead of SCADA just because it has a lot more features and a lot more functionality for basically the same memory usage. And you can also set your own nickname, which let's be honest, that's the real reason everyone gets details. Um, but yeah, within this, I'm not using too many of the features. And for to set up details, you need to actually import my config file from uh, Dropbox, which I have it uploaded. And I also have the instructions of where you should place this config file. If you have any issues with it, please let me know because this is the first time um, I actually just upload a config file for add-ons where it's not available to just import and export profiles. And then from the rest is just uh, kind of smaller add-ons that you don't really need to configure. First of all, we have Bagnon, uh, you just download it. I think the only thing I changed from default is to show the quality of the items around the border. So you can see that they're purple, orange, or green based on their quality. For angry keystones, I didn't configure that at all. Um, you just download it and you're good to go. And then for MSBT, this is personal preference, I disable everything except for the outgoing damage. So you just type in slash MSBT, uh, you go to scroll areas and here you can configure, you can see that I only have outgoing damage enabled and I have it moved to the right side of my screen. 
And as far as events, the only thing you need to worry about again is outgoing from player and you just select whatever you want to see. This kind of comes down to personal preference. I suggest playing around with it um, because especially if you have multiple of the scroll areas enabled, it can really clutter up your screen. I'm pretty much only using this to look back at VODs and see if I got any insane crits. But yeah, that's pretty much all of my add-ons guys. If you have any issues importing them or if you have any suggestions for updating these, then please let me know and I will try to make those changes. Also, if there are any add-ons missing, I will add them um, as time goes on. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy my add-ons and UI video and I hope this helped. If it did, please hit the like button and consider subbing to the channel. And I will see you on the next one.